Hello my viewers and listeners, how are you today? I'm fine, this is Igram. Our today lesson, okay, our today's lesson is invitations. I think you know invitations, uh, uh, but we will see it briefly and quickly, okay? And, and uh, uh, it's very important. I think you know that. Uh, what's an invitation first? Then we will see phrases of invitation, how to respond to an invitation, and reasons or justifications of you know refusing an invitation and finally we will see a sample or a model conversation that shows an invitation okay so what's an invitation first uh, when we define it, an invitation is simply an act of asking okay or requesting other people or, or friends or family members to attend an event okay it's an act of asking or requesting other people or friends or family members to attend an event okay so what are the events okay it could be a party ceremony it could be a dinner program or a lunch program or a wedding ceremony or a graduation ceremony or simply asking someone to have a cup of tea or coffee okay that could be an invitation so what are the expressions that we use for for invitations okay what are the expressions that we use uh, to, to, to ask an invitation, okay? Expressions of invitation. Uh, these are some of them and they are, they are uh, very important phrases, okay? Very important phrases. Uh, here are the list. The first one, would you like to? Ooh. And would you care to? Or will you join us? Or could you come to? Uh, so in the dash you can say for instance would you like to attend my graduation ceremony or would you care to have a cup of coffee or will you join us uh, uh, in the dinner party okay so this this is how you ask an invitation to, to, to your friends okay or it could be family members or it could be some per, some people that you are very much familiar with okay let's see let's see others below let's see the other expressions below okay uh, you see let's it says let's eat or let's drink it could be let's have a cup of tea a cup of coffee or can you come over for a dinner okay this this is a ways of asking an, uh, someone to to you uh, you see, invite him. Uh, now let's come to the second part. Second part, as you see, when we ask, it could be accepted. Okay, it could be accepted. So, accepting an invitation, which means saying okay to an invitation. So when we when we say uh, okay to an invitation, yes to an invitation, we might say thank you. Okay, the first one, or I would love to, or I would love to very much, or thank you, that sounds very nice, or you could say I would like that very much, or that's a wonderful idea, or thank you, I will be glad to come. These are these are accepting accepting what? An invitation, which means accepting means saying yes to an invitation. Let's come to the third part, the third part uh, below, okay? The third part is what? Refusing to an invitation, okay? Refusing. Refusing is what? The accepting of, I mean, the opposite of accepting, which means saying no to an invitation, okay? Some, sometimes when we say no to uh, an invitation, we need to uh, explain or we need to give justification or reasons, okay? It's important uh, to justify it. So, uh, here are the list of phrases uh, that shows uh, uh, refusal, okay? Or saying no. You see, polite way of saying no. Thank you, but I have something to do. Or I'm sorry, but I will I will come to your ceremony next time. Or it's very kind of you to invite me, but you see, there are there are negative words. You see, but but in the expression, I would love to, but I'm afraid I can't 
I would like to but so after but as you see as you see you are going to provide justifications or reasons or explanations for you your uh, refusal okay this is uh, 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 important again and let's see uh, again uh, information below you see I'm afraid I can't I would like to but I wish I could but if you don't mind I would rather not you see uh, now now let's come to the next part okay reasons for for refusing okay or explanation for refusing what are the reasons that you may provide when we know when we say no to an invitation you see these are these are uh, some of them you see I have got lots of work to do or I have got uh, an appointment or I have got a bit of headache uh, these are these are not the whole uh, we will see also others below okay below which is an expressions for for uh, 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 refusal you see I'm busy okay I am busy or I'm not feeling well or I'm going to Hawassa this is you see, a ways of refusal you are trying to justify uh, why you didn't uh, accept the the uh, invitation okay the invitation now let's see a model conversation okay a model conversation that shows an invitation accepting invitation and refusal of an invitation okay let's see one good uh, sample model conversation and uh, uh, we will finalize our today's lesson by uh, seeing this one model conversation one two three the first one would you like a cup of coffee and B says what no thank you you see this is refusal and the second dialogue would you like a glass of juice B said what yes please that's acceptance and a piece of cake too no thanks just a glass of juice refusal you see refusal and uh, dialogue three okay sample dialogue three uh it says uh a is inviting b for lunch and uh, here is the dialogue a says what hello john how are you uh, enjoying your staying at this b says what i'm enjoying it very much thank you you see and a proposes a question would you like to have a lunch with me okay that is asking asking an invitation be said what I would love to but I'm a bit busy now you see that's a polite way of refusing an invitation I think this is a lesson if you like uh, please don't forget to subscribe share and uh, like this lesson we will learn another lesson next time thank you for listening have have a nice time with okay uh, your work